Hello everyone, it's me ASMR if welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you how to make the photo into vintage photo. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. I'm going to the home and just opening up an image which is the stock image. I downloaded this one from deviantart.com and if you want to get the download link for your practice purpose, please check it out. Press Ctrl or Command J, you will get the another copy of this layer and after that going to the filter and camera filter. So this camera filter is a plugins in the Photoshop. If you want to get the download link of these plugins, please check it out. And this camera 13.0.2, this version is the latest version and you will get the lots of facilities like color grading and other stuffs. Here you will get the small dots that is the menu bar I'm going to the load settings options and this one that means the preset i will provide you the preset name is vintage and load it up so this is the preset that means i already made this one for you guys and you'll get the download link in my video description and what is the settings over there let's see here the settings the temperature minus nine that's why you're getting the little bit cool time you if you make this one warm it will be more warm that means the temperature if you get this one high that is the value of the plus and the tint that is zero and exposure 0 0.20 contrast minus 14 if you increase their contrast you will get more like a sharp or like contrast high vibrance like that and the highlight minus 41 if you want you can make this one down according to your photograph you can adjust this one it's totally up to you i'm showing you the natural things or the classic things which i am using this okay the shadow plus 43 and whites plus 55 texture zero and the clarity that is 43 that's why you're getting the vintage look over there in the previous or the old photo you're getting the sharpened uh, things and the clarity high clarity and the like a high contrast that is the thing in the vintage like photos here the vibrance plus 50 and the saturation minus 14 basic panel done in a curves here the used curve like that the input value 1 and output value 3 and input value 64 output value 56 here input value 183 and output value 182 here input value 255 and output value 248 in the red curves if i go to here input value 5 output value 1 and the input value here 70 and output value 62 input value that is 192 and output value 187 input value 255 and output value 249 now upper side if you take this bar or the slider in upper side you will get the red tone the downside is the magenta tone and then the blue tone if you go to the upper side you will get the blue which is the sky blue and if you go to the downside you will get the yellow that means the temperature cool and temperature warm in this portion so after that the detailing option you are getting the noise reduction that is 31 here two types of noise reduction color noise reduction and the noise reduction if you increase the color noise you will get the color noise reduction down or noise reduction or noise omitted here the color mixture hue saturation luminance hue which color will be it defines with that saturation the percentage of the color and the luminance intensity of the color here the hue of the red is zero orange is zero yellow that is minus 40 that's why you're getting the little bit orange type tone and the green minus 100 and here the blue minus plus six here the saturation percentage that means the red percentage increased that is 16 or 17 and the orange minus 6 and yellow that is down for the prominence of the orange that is 100 minus 100 actually and the green that is minus 28 aqua minus 17 and the blue minus 71 only the orange and the yellow up that is the orange plus 40 and the yellow too that's good and color grading most important thing in the shadow portion highlight portion and mid-tone portion which color will be defined with the color grading here the in the shadow portion you are getting the hue that is zero and percentage of the color that means saturation that is it you can 
just slide it up and you'll get the different types of tone over there and here didn't use anything okay in optics geometry didn't use the settings in effects option the grain 10 that's why you're getting a little bit grain this one is a speciality for the vintage photo the vintage or previous photo was the grain a little bit which is really artistic and creative and the vignette vignetting minus 67 that's why you're getting the uh, like a black portion in the four side or the other sides the before and after you are getting like that and the, the setup of the vignetting that is 23 for the midpoint roundness plus 20 and the feather 90 that's good in the calibration we are getting three colors which is the red primary green primary and blue primary red primary hue the value is 64 and saturation plus 18 and the green primary plus 80 and the saturation 18 the hue that is minus 55 and minus 25 for the saturation in this blue primary you are getting the aqua color actually the value of the color that's why you are getting a little bit aqua over there the before and after you are getting instant change of that and hit okay if you want you can just get the downloading in my description or you can just set it up according to my setup so after that i will add another like filter from the nick collection going to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins for the photoshop the helping hand you are getting the bunch of preset over there from here i am choosing the like uh, here the cross processing lots of sub method over here which one is perfect for your photography you have to define or choose and here l02 is for me and hit ok it will take time to process and provide the final output let's see the before and after subtle change but that is the vital point for the photo editing and save it out don't forget to save it out just because of it will be like your future in future if you want you can use that so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may see when you signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye